because I'm a fury. <laughs> oh, man. If it isn't everybody's token anti-SJW, Mr. Young Ripper 59, Eric July. Look, look, look at this, man. You know, I was talking with a friend about this whole situation with the reboot of Superman and it's going to be more than likely a multiverse Superman because they, they, they're not going with Clark Kent. But anyway, this made me Google the whole thing about the writer and the so-called controversy of what he said about six years ago. Look it up yourself about the whole first responders thing. Look it up. But anyway, let me stay on subject in this video. This man here called the new writer with J.J. Abrams, Tennessee Coates. Tennessee Coates. Um, he called him a token. And this man talks constantly about tokenization of superhero characters, you know, when it comes to black people and how it's not welcomed and how it shouldn't be just thrown in there. Meaning, like, we shouldn't see people like, um, how can we say, what's the name again? Who played Valkyrie in Thor Ragnarok. Um, you know, the, the biracial female. You know who I'm talking about. The actress name is right on the tip of my tongue. You shouldn't see characters like her. You shouldn't see um, the hair in the paired biracial actress from The Walking Dead who plays Connie. You shouldn't see her as one of the Eternals. Uh... You shouldn't see many other characters who have had palette swaps, so to say. Like Nick Fury, even though Ultimate Nick Fury and also in the universe exists and they have retconned this Nick Fury into this universe. Being the biracial offspring of the old school Nick Fury. But anyway. Let me stay on subject. Try to stay on subject. You have this man here always talking about how tokenization needs to stop. These characters don't shouldn't be given a black face, right? This is not how it is in the comic book. He touts himself as a comic book purist, and he is. My thing is, bro, they talking about your black ass too, okay? They talking about your black ass too, meaning you can sit here and you can advocate and you can speak all the talking points of all the anti-SJWs who are predominantly white. You can speak all the talking points and stuff, but at the end of the day, they talking about your black ass too. This is how I feel about a lot of them. The, the shit that made Leona Lewis, aka the actress who played Maria Rambo, the shit that made her quit. Twitter Meaning that backlash she got For being a Black female Who is a 007 Not a Jane, not James Bond But a 007 The reaction she got As a Fellow black person to another black person You totally okay with that Oh yeah it's Tessa Thompson Who played Valkyrie She oh that don't make any sense Okay, it's based off of Norse mythology. No, the Norse people in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and in, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe worshipped the Asgardians as gods because they came to Earth many years ago. Okay, it's different in the MCU. Stop using Norse mythology, actual Norse mythology. In Scandinavian countries. No, this is Marvel we talking about. You, you admitted that yourself on your goddamn channel. That these movies, MCU movies, aren't made for people who read the comics. It's made for people who love comic-based movies. Which is a majority of the fan base. So a lot of these people wouldn't know that some of the characters in Eternal in the Eternals were originally white. That Heimdall was originally white. A lot of people don't care because they're not going to read the fucking 
comic. They're going to enjoy the movie. They're going to enjoy the movie for what it is. That's what they're going to do. And we get more and more of these reactions throughout this whole channel. And I look in the comment section, and it's a lot of faceless commenters. And you know what that means. I already know what that means. <sighs> Moving on. I'm like, bro. I'm going to say it again. They told him about your black ass too. How could you even be just so willing to spout a lot of the garbage about tokenization to a bunch of people who are also threatened by your presence in entertainment? Every time you're in entertainment, it's shoehorned in. It's forced in. Really? Are you serious? Are you are, are you fucking serious? It's it's shoehorned in. That's your whole take on that. How you can spout the shit that disrespects people like you every day. You can spout it religiously and have no problem doing such. Now you can sit there and you are free to disagree. With how they've done it. But to base a lot of your content off of that. To get a lot of these angry, unstable pale bells on your side. Is just a fucking problem to me. And you should definitely, definitely... Take a look at yourself in the mirror. Because they told me about your black ass too. Because I'm a fury, I'm out. Peace.